So today we're going to be taking a look at the functionalities of a boning knife featuring the Kang Chen Cutlery Thomas Keller line boning knife. Now as the name suggests, a boning knife is used for boning and deboning a piece of meat. So if you eat a lot of meat and you consume a lot of protein in your diet, a boning knife is a very, very essential piece of equipment that you need to have in your arsenal. Now what defines a boning knife? A boning knife's characteristic is it has a very, very long and sleek profile, blade profile. That allows you to get into tight spaces and do a lot of finesse work. And the second characteristic is a very, very sharp tip. The reason most companies put a lot of emphasis on the sharp tip is because that's actually the place of the knife that you use the most when you're deboning stuff. Because you're using the tip to get into those tight corners and to get into those joints, so you use the tip of the knife a lot. So that's why they put a lot of emphasis on it. Now there are actually two different types of boning knives. Now, one of them being a more stiff boning knife, which is more geared towards tougher proteins, such as beef and pork, and then the more flexible version for more delicate proteins like poultry and fish. Now, speaking of poultry and fish, a lot of times people get a boning knife confused with a fillet knife, I mean, which is understandable because they both look very, very similar to one another. The only difference is that a fillet knife is always very flexible because it is specifically designed for working with fish. Now not only is it more flexible, it usually has a thinner blade and it's also a much curvier blade. So now there are several things that I really really like about this Thomas Keller knife. The first being this full size handle. What I mean by full size handle is that this is the same size handle that you'll find on the regular chef knife. Most boning knives have a more scaled down version of a handle and it's a lot smaller, but having this full size handle, it's a lot more comfortable and it gives you just a lot more control over the knife compared to having a more, you know, like I said, a scaled down version of, of a knife handle, which is just not as comfortable and it gives you less control, at least for me. And of course, the second thing that I really like about the Thomas Keller line is the type of steel that it is made out of. It is Swedish powdered steel. It takes a wicked edge and it stays sharp so the edge retention is extremely, extremely good. So when you bone a lot of meat, this knife is going to stay sharp. I have a piece of chicken thigh here that we're going to use for demonstration today. The reason I only have a piece of chicken thigh is because we're still all on lockdown, unfortunately. and. That's really the only piece of meat that I can find with a bone in it. So let's go ahead and get this baby onto the cutting board and show you how good this knife debones. So when you're deboning a piece of chicken thigh, the first thing you want to do, of course, is turn this baby around. Now you will see the bone is very prominent right here, so this is where we're going to start working at. Now as you find the bone, the really nice part about having a boning knife, like I said before, is that you can just use the tip to cut right along the bone right here. Now when you're boning a piece of meat, what you want to do is to really turn that knife towards the bone. So that way you're cutting towards the bone and you're not stripping away, you know, you're stripping the meat away from the bone without actually tearing it up. And with your other hand, you're also pulling the meat away from the bone at the same time. Okay. Turn this baby around. Now this is a better angle you can see as I'm pulling the meat away, I'm cutting towards the bone. Okay. And it is loosening that meat right off the bone. Okay. You guys see that? And do you see how much I'm using the tip of the knife compared to the rest of the knife? And once you get enough of the meat cleared away from the bone, you can slip your knife right underneath the bone and cut out. And that's all it takes to the bone a piece of chicken thigh.
All right, so this actually wraps up our functionality of a boning knife video, and I hope you guys like it. And if you guys do like it, if you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it'll mean the world to me, and it'll help me support all this madness, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.